Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Beef Boys Contest podcast. Beef? All right, boys. On the count of three, we're all going to try to suck our own dicks. Ready? <laughs> three. Okay. Two. One. One. to town on that shit. I think you did. It's <laughs> not even a contest. The That's the beauty of being a short king, is you're closer to your dick. Anyway. It's true. Yeah, Actually, I, I, I do want to... Uh, too late, Andrew. You already started it. I do want to get on I this just topic. Wanted have to you get guys that ever tried... Have you guys ever tried to suck your own dick? And be honest... All right, like, have you ever even tr like attempted? You know, like, to, yes. not even like a full like. I'm gonna okay. argue that Kudos is the only one that has, and there's a reason why I think Kudos is the one that has. Why is it because we're all fat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone for like I'm going to try to slurp this, <laughs> but I've I think that I've done like I'm a half like crunch. <laughs> like a half crunch to be like, could I if I wanted to? But I don't yeah. think uh, I, I ever could. I've never even <laughs> attempted the crunch because kudos, kudos is is two axes meeting at once. You know, at his hips, he's got like the upper uh -huh. body and the lower body. I am, I am a a ball of mass. <laughs> right. There's there you don't you don't here's, bend here's a circle on itself. It doesn't have it just indents. <laughs> oh yeah! Look at that Ooh. axis. Boy, the boy got that. Yes. And, and for the like, audio listeners, uh, uh, many kudos is currently standing up, making an S shape, uh, popping his booty, just like Mr. Block used. Absolutely popping his booty. <laughs> yeah. Popping so, his booty. So online. James has successfully done it. Andrew has attempted it. No, I haven't. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it, it was like it's like one of those things where, you know, I, I'd be lying on the couch and I'm like I. I don't think I could do this. Like, I, I don't think I could do this, but I want to try. And it's like, it's like, you know, like the theory, like you could, you, in theory, you could bite your finger off, but your brain won't let you. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it was like that. Like my, I'm like trying to, like, I'm trying to like begin the act of attempting, but my brain's just like, no, dude, you're weird. But like I'm like I, I want to <laughs> try. Do that. I want to see. I want to. I want to see if if lip can meet dick. I don't know if that's an entirely accurate <laughs> analogy because you could bite your finger off. There's no way you could yeah. suck your own dick. Someone in the comments is furious at James because he just belittled his accomplishment of sucking. Yeah. Your dick. <laughs> you know what? You know what, James? Here, yeah. Here's uh, you have you have an assignment for tonight. All right. I want you yeah. to uh, go get go warm up Where's a nice going? bath. You know, get get yourself nice and limber. You know, light some candles, yeah. get some rose petals. Very nice. You know, the the whole night. That's nine, a daily thing some, anyway. Yeah. Some music. Pour some Taco yeah, Bell hot sauce you know, in the butt and the water. It, yeah, get the water nice and red. You gotta limber Zelda? up them bones, boy. Uh, no, this is Tetris CDI. You're gonna limber up them <laughs> bones, boy. You're, you're gonna, gonna be like, like a Tetris okay. block. <laughs> yeah, is you're that gonna, how you're water? Is that how water works? Suck your own cock. <laughs> <laughs> you're starting like the L and you'll turn into the square. So by by <laughs> by Doplex's math here, everyone should just go boil bones in hot water and then they'll be nice and chewy and you just can eat them. <laughs> take us take it from we're the beef boys. We know all the yeah. science behind cooking the bone meat. Just bone. Like exactly. Pasta. I feel like I need yeah, to clarify. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> now, since Doplex said like he did it out of like like for research purposes, I think right. looking back on it, I think that's what I've also done. I don't think I've ever been like, oh, I need to do that. I don't think I've ever been like, <laughs> I need fucking fucking jonesing calm. to do it. So I think there's probably been some time where I've been like naked and been like, I could just try. <laughs> then, no harm, no foul. It just feels like you'd be asking like, for man. cramps though. You'd like, yeah. if you could successfully do it. I, I love that, that. That tone in your voice, like I guess I could just try. Like, <laughs> like you're at the supermarket hurt. buying a candy bar at checkout. Like I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm at, I'm at the supermarket hey, naked, yeah. lying I'm down. Be a little bad today. I could try. <laughs> I could try. <laughs> the cashiers cheering you on. Real yeah. excited. <laughs> Me next. Suck that dick. <laughs> they put you up on. Uh, they put you up on the belt and they roll the belt so you kind of like curve up onto yourself. <laughs> Everyone like, joins in. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, you, put your hands here and then let the belt push you. It'll keep a little bit more momentum. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's a Japanese game show that has tried to get people to do that? 
I feel like they've done you know everything. What? Probably. I feel yeah, like I think, getting yeah, people not, to I slurp so. their own noodles is... If it hasn't happened, it's on the list. I think Joe Rogan would probably be the host of that show. <laughs> <laughs> but, but in Japan, in Japanese, and he's just yeah, yeah. speaking Dude, English. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Anyway, have you ever sucked your own dick? <laughs> Jamie, pull up the video of the guy sucking his own dick after he runs over to deer. <laughs> Jamie, suck your own dick. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> yes, he's like, yes, Joe, Joe, I can't. He's like, do it. So do if, it, Jamie. I have a similar question to ask you guys then, because this was this. I think it comes from the same instinct and, and natural curiosity of the of the chimp brain within all of us. So when I was in like third or fourth grade, I took a I took a plastic cup and put it up to my ass and made sure that it like suctioned. So I like flexed my butt cheeks and it would like suction to it and i farted Wait, straight into it and immediately on. cupped it with do you not understand i f i'm set no i put a cup no, up to my asshole up. oh directly on your asshole i, I think you're talking about your, your like directly your ass cheek like directly his skin no between my ass cheeks on my asshole and i flexed my okay. ass cheeks so that it would suction okay and then i okay. farted straight into it Immediately cupped it with the top of my hand like you would like a spider like you're trying to get a spider out of your room and then Fucking nuzzled it onto my face and and breathed it in just to see what a con like what a concentrated fart smelled like And I literally <laughs> <James>. immediately <laughs> threw up So I want to know have you guys ever done that because I've I've never no. met anyone that's done that <laughs> That's a, no, yeah, that's a flat I no <laughs> Dude I, it, that okay, there's there's so James. Okay, first of all, there's so much with that that is so specific to you that I don't think <laughs> yeah. like, oh, why like I feel like you know like somebody saying have you ever tried to suck your own dick is vastly different than saying have you ever suction cupped a cup to your asshole farted it, it having it immediately suction and then put it to your face and vomited have you ever <laughs> done like a scientific a of a of a smell your it's own not shit. Common. I think I think that is the same exact that that comes from the same exact part of the brain. There's a there's linkage between and <laughs> nah, between those two nah, acts. There is. I don't think so. I don't, I don't know, man. Because sucking your own dick I, feels I, like I, it could be like a bold new world of pleasure. I feel like smelling, right. smelling your own farts is like ask, though, morbid James, curiosity. What led up to that moment? <laughs> Cause you had to get the cup, yeah. so there's like a lot of it's premeditated <laughs> preparation. I remember exactly. I remember exactly what cup it was too. Sniff. <laughs> I got at the. I went to Disney World for Halloween one year moment. when I was little, and I got I got a cup, um, a pink <laughs> cup from. It, it was it was it was a, uh, the Bell. Whoever I don't remember which movie Bell is. I'm pretty. Sure, I think it's uh, Beauty and the Beauty Beast. And the Beast. Beast. Yeah. But, Okay. So it was like a pink and yellow. Bitch. Yeah, it was a pink and yellow <laughs> cup that it that if you like tapped it, it like lit up and it had like jewels on it, and it was like one of those ones with a stem. Right. <laughs> that doesn't so matter. Was, but you I just to, like, specifically remember bell. the cup. This was like this is like a, a fetish thing. You're like, I'm this was my beast face. moment. Yeah. 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 Like so in the movie. I want to. So because it, it, I personally, and I don't think th I don't think this is totally out there. I like the smell of my own farts, and sometimes shit. Right. Not like not like I'm gonna dig into it or anything, but like it's not it's not <laughs> it's not unpleasant, and sometimes it's pretty pretty epic. Like specifically, Wendy spicy chicken nuggets straight up smell like they did going in, coming out. It's a crazy phenomenon. I urge you all to to chase that. Um, and, and try it for yourself, but that, and then I was like, really, well, just that entire sentence really just <laughs> went against everything like, in my body. Yeah, but then everybody accidentally, uh, I want to say bread box, but that's that's not what it is. Like hot boxes yourself, where you fart under the covers and you lift it up oh, and just get Dutch it. Oven. Let's Dutch oven with a fart. That's a Dutch yeah, oven. Yeah, Dutch oven. Yeah. So then yeah. you, so then the natural curiosity of the chimp is, let's take that one step further, one step closer, and. <laughs> Fart straight into a cup and get the entire fart right into your nostrils off rip. This is so awful. you were itching for that high. You were like, oh, I was just this isn't enough. I need more. No, I was more so conducting science because I was like, well, if I if I like it, <laughs> it's like it's like you do you guys like the smell of uh yeah do you like the smell of like car gasoline? See that I understand. I love the smell of like you know 
Walking by a gas station, walk, walking by a boomers. Gasoline doesn't come from my asshole, though. This is just sitting down right in front of the tailpipe of the car and seeing if it smells even better. <laughs> that's that's all this is. <laughs> But like yeah. gasoline, yeah, uh, I, I get where you're coming from, but there's, I feel like there's still quite a bit of a difference between gasoline and, but and like, your feces. Like deep billowy farts. <laughs> yeah, gasoline's more dangerous, so it's, I was even smarter. There's one guy watching this right now who is fascinated by He's this. Fucking, you have yeah, unlocked like, something in someone, James. Like, please Thank keep you. talking about this. <laughs> He's fucking doming himself up over the thought of... James's fucking guttural farts. Eventually, someone will have watched this who has also done that. I have a story about. Uh, I have a story about McDonald's. This is the story of the big cheese. There was a food item at McDonald's New Zealand called the big cheese. I can't remember what it was, but you can imagine there was cheese in it. Probably therefore a lot of. Uh, it was a burger. Right. My friend Probably Matt was in line uh, at lunch, and he saw this very very large man. Next, uh, next in line, he he was a very simple man apparently, <laughs> and he went up to the counter and he slammed a fistful of dollars onto the counter. Which, by the way, this is New Zealand, so we don't have care, like <laughs> paper money. It was coins. He slammed right. a ton of coins on the <laughs> counter, and reportedly, he just yelled out, "Big cheese!" <laughs> <laughs> and that was and nothing else. That was it. <laughs> he just went, "Wham!" <laughs> Big, big cheese. cheese. Can we can we have a definition of a big cheese? It was yeah, like ex- it was just some kind cheese. of burger. I don't remember it exactly, big but cheese. I think it was just like a cheeseburger with like three types of cheese or something. I don't even think American McDonald's has more than one type of cheese, and I don't think their cheese is yeah. actually cheese. So we have zero cheese. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you can't have the big cheese, then you have to come over here, yeah. slam your coins right. on the counter, we get the little cheese, and demand a big cheese. Dude, I would have been scared. I would have been terrified if I was in that McDonald's and I just saw a crazy man walk in and <laughs> slam something down and go, Big cheese! I would have been terrified. I would have ran. I would have fucking kissed him. Was he frothing at the lips? He was, actually. He was <laughs> rolling on the ground dying. That reminds me, there was another time I was at McDonald's. This is completely unrelated to the Big Cheese story, but I remember I was just there once and I saw a guy get him like a big McDonald's lunch and he had the biggest bag I've ever seen from EB Games, which is like our version of GameStop. And I just remember right. thinking, we used to have that. <clears throat> I remember like it was, I was on my lunch break at my job and I was just like, this fucking guy's getting McDonald's and then going home to probably, probably play like a brand new PlayStation 4 we just bought and like a bunch of games. I just remember thinking, I wish that was me right now. You know that feel, it's, it's that feeling when like you put, you like double up all the good things that you've been excited for onto one day. Like right. this game you're really excited to play has just come out. So I'm also going to buy like a bunch of McDonald's or takeaway or something and then like get my favorite drinks and you, you like make a big event of it. And that's what that guy was doing. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you do you, buddy. The next day he was sitting comatose <laughs> in his depressive, enlarged <laughs> yeah. state, just yeah. wondering what had the gone wrong and why he was 27 playing. Yeah. <laughs> do, you ever th- do, you ever, do you ever get that moment where like, say there's a game or something you're really, really excited for, like you've been fucking frothing about it for, for months or years even. And, and like the day before it comes out, the polarity on your on your hype completely 180s and you go from being incredibly juiced to just like what if i don't like it what if it's not actually fun at all <laughs> maybe maybe this is all yeah, but you know like it's terrible yeah it's it's weird i always get there like uh, i guess the last game i had that was, was cyberpunk which is ugh. uh but like <laughs> but i just even remember like i've been super fucking ugh, for months and then the day before i was just like Oh wait, what if it what if it sucks balls? What if I hate it? What if it's like the wrong game for me or something? And then yeah, it's well, funny how Kudos that made it bad. It was his it was his it was his uh Fuck um, English no work. It's all <laughs> over. Thanks for coming. What? Thanks Let's for coming to the Beef Boys contest. <laughs> <Tell them. laughs> I, I I was gonna say before and I mean, this is kind of just like a, a, you know, whatever topic, but have you guys ever tried to like heat up fast food and why the fuck does it taste so bad? Well, no. there, you have there to be the specific like, types of fast food that can be reheated. Pizza, totally fine. Yeah. McDonald's. Uh. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. Let, let me, let me, let me specify like McDonald's, Taco Bell. Have you ever tried to like heat up shit from there? It tastes like cardboard. Like it, well, it tastes so like bad. a shell of its former self. It's, so it's all like if you buy it. 
You mean, it's all you buy it, take and it home and stick it in, in the, the microwave? I hate Discord. Yeah, but I'm I mean, sorry. like... <laughs> Discord okay. be fucking with it's us. fucking Discord latency. It's, it's like five they, fucking seconds off. I don't go. understand. Bruh. And we're back. And we're back. Uh, yeah, sorry Fortnite. about that. We, we, had, we had a bit of a... Uh, we had a bit of a fight. Um... Andrew was going off about how women shouldn't be allowed to vote, and I was like, "Dude, that's <laughs> way too far." And for some reason, he's you see, here, here's the thing about Andrew: he's one of those guys that just refuses to back down, and and he'll you know we'll tell him like, "No, dude, that that's wrong. It's not socially acceptable for you to say that," and he'll just keep he'll double down. It's crazy. That's how I grew up, conservative Christian. Right. So, do you, would you care to elaborate that? <laughs> Just like, keep going. Listen, man. So Andrew, <laughs> just spend thirty minutes on a on a character bit, and everybody genuinely yeah. thinks, yeah, exactly. Just to cover up for technical difficulties. <laughs> Dopex, you had an mm. amazing topic that everyone was dying to hear about. I have a very sad story. Uh, I remember one time uh, for a birthday party, I got incredibly drunk. I think I was it was my seventeenth. We got incredibly drunk because we were still starting to drink and didn't know limits yet you didn't know how to drink you're pouring it up your ass pretty much yeah we were like sniffing it and snuff <laughs> yeah, yeah like putting in our Smoking belly buttons and shit liquor. and pushing it down yeah. and then uh we went i got driven home and dro- we got like my friends brought me mcdonald's on the way to sober me up which was really nice of them but i was so out of it i didn't even eat it and i remember just waking up the next day with this cold mcdonald's on the floor beside me and i was like well i am pretty hungry <laughs> <laughs> so I, I ate Damn this it. cold, <laughs> cold ass fucking cardboard McDonald's burger. Well, oh. I was gonna say that I eat all of my leftovers. I eat mostly everything that isn't like freshly cooked for me cold. Like I don't care to reheat anything really. I don't. Mi- I don't yeah, like mind like, a nice chili burger. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean that that's fair. But like with fast food, I feel like if it's not. Like I feel like it's it's called fast food, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna this is gonna be a stupid fucking pun. Fuck you. Fuck all three of you. It's a stupid fucking pun. But I, it's called fast food because well, you're supposed to eat it fast. There, there it is. No, it's called fast food because they make it fast. And no. you can punch it even faster. No. <laughs> you know, I've actually had pretty decent success with Taco Bell reheats, but with McDonald's Taco specifically. Bell reheats? Yeah, that's uh, well. I guess the it's because Cerrito specifically, it tastes different. But I also have um, garbage taste buds. <laughs> Taco Bell is the closest <laughs> to soup. Care. <laughs> Taco Bell is the closest to soup. That is why you can reheat soup. You can that's like true. reheating like a fucking piece of yeah. like a steak. Like imagine reheating a steak in a microwave. That shit's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be like biting down on the f- fucking top of a gun. But like reheating a bowl of soup. Right. What's wrong with that? So Taco Bell is literally just soup in tortilla. That just that's just it's just what it is. Did you see those TikToks that were going around for a wee while where people were like they were showing like oh here's how your Taco Bell food is prepared and it was videos like of the Taco Bell workers preparing the meat and it was meant to like make you be like oh this is disgusting but it's like. No, it looks, it looks pretty sanitary. Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah, fast like, food, dog. Uh, yeah, like, look at me. Do you th- do you th- do you Sick. think I care? Yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah, but I, yeah. I don't. Doesn't matter yeah. what it is. No, it doesn't. But with McDonald's specifically, I can eat it normally and I'll be fine. But why I've, are you talking I'm to me like, like a professor, like a level one hundred professor? <laughs> yeah, he's pointing I'm not at sure. us. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, with a pinky up in the air. He's I'm grabbing another thing to point with. But with McDonald's specifically, Point I've had it happen with on like cock. two, with <laughs> two or three different occasions where if I reheated it, it would make my stomach like turn. Only if I reheated it, though, uh, I could eat it normally just fine. But something about sticking it in a microwave, it was like fuck you. Maybe it's like a radiation sponge. It's just sucking up that fallout. <laughs> radiation. <laughs> you know, probably a couple of weeks ago, I put um. I put like a Chinese food takeaway container into my microwave and forgot that the little metal bar on the box is like uh, not is a thing you put in a microwave. And <laughs> you my forgot in, the metal bar is metal. It's flavor. Yeah, I was like washing out a bowl to use or something and the whole kitchen started smelling smelling like smoke. And for some reason, I took... I opened my microwave and I started cupping water from the sink and flinging it across my kitchen into the microwave rather than like just (laughs) 
taking the thing out and Removing throwing it in the, the sink that I was <laughs> using in that moment. I just yeah. started flinging fucking Let me destroy my microwave. across my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> James, why is our microwave leaking? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Uh, okay, speaking of... The Russians. Chinese. Um, this well, isn't going where you think it's going. Please don't stop. Andrew, no, it's, just, I promise it's not going where you think it's going. Andrew, we have once already. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I was looking at real estate, or uh, like for renting and shit, up in Alaska, uh, and this description yeah. says laminate flooring throughout, remodeled kitchen with cherry cabinets and granite countertops, no smoking, schools, scenic park, elementary. In quote, in parentheses, Chinese immersion, and then it states a middle school. What is that I don't mean? know what Chinese immersion means. <laughs> It means I mean, that the house is designed it's specifically like a VR to be... It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very immersive, but specifically for Chinese people. You'll you feel can only like unlock the smart aspects of the house by being Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> See, what does Chinese immersion mean? I like how we thought this was going to be a racist right. thing, but it ended up being like kind of a wholesome like like inclusion sort of... <laughs> I had... Yeah. I th I'm genuinely like, curious. I thought so it was going to be okay, like, here we I remember go. one time I bought uh, booked an Airbnb and they had a rule that said no Indian food allowed. Like you're not allowed to cook Indian food. <laughs> in Specifically it. no Indian food. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I'll, there are like, like I've been to like, or I've worked at places where it says like, don't cook this kind of food because one fucking bitch that works in like accounting doesn't like the smell of it. She's like, I'm going to make a sign. Sure. Uh, by the way, I googled it. <laughs> by the way, I googled it in Chinese immersion. Uh, so it says here, for the most part, in this article, we oh, it's, uh, I don't fucking care about that. All right, so basically, what it is, uh, from what I'm reading, if I'm wrong, feel free to fucking sodomize my asshole and correct me. But uh, essentially, it's uh, like the location you live in uh, will cater to that language. Sure. Like for example, I grew up in in like a predominantly Filipino neighborhood. So like oh, you know, yeah, my school break about had it. like Filipino class. I mean, <laughs> you know. Oh my god. But like uh, <laughs> my school had like Filipino language classes. Uh they had like culture day where like the students would bring like uh Filipino food and like the shit was Name so Name a Filipino delicious. food. Uh there's uh I think it's called Taron or something like that, and it's like a fried banana, which is bomb as fuck. There's uh, that's a lumpia, plantain. that's like the famous one. Yeah, whatever, I like the, you know. What's that, no, is that, I, that Jollibee place? I believe him. That place looks quite nice. There's that uh, jelly bean place. Jolly Jollibee? I think it's Chili's? like a fast food. It's like oh, a I heard jelly bean, oh. and I was like, the fuck? Jolly, I don't even know what jolly yeah, bean is. It's like a. What's I think jolly it's, bean I think is it's like from the McDonald's. Yeah, it's like their. Um, yeah, it's their it's like a Filipino McDonald's, basically. I've heard it's pretty in good. LA or there's in, that or there's in that the fact that uh, that Filipinos are the most powerful race in the world. I don't know if that's verified or not, but <laughs> I have to snipes that one. Fucking meme. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should we should clarify that that's based off. One of those uh, epic swag memes. It's a. It's from the. You guys remember? It's the from the Kush and Lyrics Tumblr. By uh, please get it yeah. right. It's Kush with yeah. a K and Lyrics with a Z. <laughs> right. I every time I see those fucking deep fried images of like the dudes with the snapbacks, I just always think of like the 2012 era like mm. swag dudes. You well, know, that, like I think this is what they were called. <laughs> the, fun, the funny thing swag is that like I can't King. tell what level of irony they're at. Because like they were so none, no, no, but no, no. I'm <laughs> saying like th those weren't, but but since then, if you Google it, there's so many like parodies now. So there, like, there was oh, one that was like, right. you don't need condoms if you have swag, and I'm like, I that could be fake, <laughs> but then also seems like a parody. But it might not be. That's the thing. Yeah. Like that would have been the sort of shit that some someone like that would have done, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, baby, it was. I need a condom. I have My swag. <laughs> <laughs> it's not swag. My, it's herpes. I'm. Yeah, I'm very fashionable. You won't be able to get inseminated. Even if with you my do get pregnant, you'll be thankful. Because our, swag? Our, yeah, cause our baby swag. will have swag. What if swag was like uh, <laughs> like code word for like a vasectomy or something? Bruh. <laughs> my <laughs> personal <laughs> hypothesis is that anybody that I know that still regularly uses Facebook is like 100% like will still 100% unironically consume those those like memes yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I agree. Any, yeah, that's like that is accurate. like that it's still down to use Facebook that's our age are like yeah. susceptible to that more than anybody. And they're still 100%. slamming. It's so interesting how Facebook's weaseled its way into the minds of boomers everywhere. Like even 
people who are against it. Like my dad was so against it. Like he was so like, not nah, not using it. Don't want yeah. to put any information out there. It's such a big waste of time, blah, blah, blah. And even like when he did get it, he would post to say, oh, just so you know, I'm barely using this. I'm not going to be, you know, if you send me a message, I'll check them. <laughs> And now he like posts every day. It's so, I don't know the He's Facebook just on there. Zuckerberg weaseled his way into like every every boomer's brain. The hearts around and the, minds around the time we did, dude. It's crazy. He probably saw yeah. the Chug Jug video and just got <laughs> fucking hooked. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get down. Get down! I'm a cool get down. Fortnite gamer. <laughs> I gotta use Actually, Facebook. I, to to that point, I feel like. It's weird because, like, Facebook is definitely, like, the spot for boomers. But at the same time, there's, like, there's people in, like, their 20s that, like, use it religiously. But they, they always kind of follow the same trend. Like, they had kids super early. Yep. They kind of, mm -hmm. like, fell into the boomer mindset. And mm -hmm. now they're, like, you know, like, yeah, like, posting, like, those weird minion memes still. Boomers, boomers, like, not an age. It's a mindset. It's, like, you, can be, it's you can be a 22-year-old yeah. yeah. boomer. It's a, mi it's a mindset. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and they all they all do the same shit like uh, with their kids. Like they'll take a picture of them like on the bed with like a balloon or like something like signifying like how many days old they are or whatever. Like it's all like it's it's all very like there's a formula to it on how to be like a a boomer wino mom or like a, a boomer dad on Facebook. Like it's all the same. Yeah. Anybody that that uses Facebook is the most like on a hierarchy of of uh. <laughs> people who believe they are the main character of the universe <laughs> anybody who religiously still uses facebook is 100 percent believes that everybody wants to see a picture of their malformed fucking child with a balloon yeah. with number two on it next to it <laughs> and they like wholeheartedly yeah. believe, how could anyone not want that right fucking now yeah i don't really follow a lot exactly. of like i don't follow a lot of women uh on facebook who are like you from school have kids but like i know Full guys stuff. who have and pretty much all of them Full don't stuff. have custody of their kids so they're not even able Shut to do the, they're not even able to do the photo with the balloons like they're not even allowed near their kids <laughs> so, right they're not dude, they're, they're, people younger people they need to have more self-awareness of how on an objective cuteness scale their kid is because yeah. i have seen some photos of people posting their kid up there and i'm like your baby looks like a bulldog. Please oh, stop showing him to me. Please stop. <laughs> we, me and my yeah, friends used to share around photos. Anymore. We used to share around photos of people's like disgusting baby photos. Where it was like the most unflattering <laughs> photo ever, and the baby would be like, <laughs> and the mum would be like, yeah. "Here's my, here's my beautiful." Um, I was gonna say, Angel, Co I was gonna say Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just need a girl's name. Uh. <laughs> and the fucking baby's just making a face like. <laughs> so, well, that's what he put. Dude, and, and that's the thing. Like, I get it if you're like a parent, you know, like, because obviously none of us have kids, but like, I would imagine if like, if you were a parent, you'd probably be like, oh, my, my kid is like the cutest thing in the world mm. or whatever. But like to other people, like I've never... Like, I feel like kids, like, will reach a certain age. Like, all right, yeah, like, it's a cute kid, you know, whatever. But, like, yeah. when they're babies, they're just, like, they all kind of look the same. And, like, they just look like weird. Especially white babies. Just... Like, white, white babies are, like, fucking pale and flaky and, like, like Yeah. You see, like, yeah, babies of like... other races and they've got, like, like smooth, like, dark skin and, like, <laughs> funny features. Like, yeah. my, my brother and sister are both half Asian. When, like, my brother was born, he was, like, he looked like a little Buddha because he was all rolly and, like, had perfect <laughs> right. olive skin. Yeah. And I was, like, like yeah. yo, you're adorable. Yeah, we see, yeah. White, see white babies and we're all, like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Gollum coming out the yeah, pussy. Yeah, it's real Gollum energy. Yeah. So, yeah. Gollum um, coming out the pussy. I don't get why they don't just keep taking more pictures and so, like they have to know that their kid looks like it's suffocating underneath their fucking bosom. Like they should just, kill it. Just keep taking pictures until it looks fucking normal. Just keep going. Hold on, I've got a topic. No, it's actually the, it's the same topic. I was I'm just, done talking about babies. No, I want to talk more about babies. I, I just think it's interesting that as a species, we've evolved to fucking hate our own <laughs> our own newborns. <laughs> well, not your own. In theory, you should love your own baby. But it's funny that like another in theory another human baby. <laughs> well, you do get that. Some women get that right. shit where it's like, was it postnatal Casey Anthony. shit where they don't like they don't. Oh yeah, po postpartum depression. Yeah, where they just fucking hate it. But like, there's a yeah. But it's weird that like any animal baby pretty much as adorable like even shit like crocodiles you see a baby crocodile and you're like oh 
it's like a little guy. Yeah. But then you see a human baby and you're like, <laughs> like Ugh. I don't I don't know <laughs> if uh me. I don't know if the the uh four male YouTuber dudes are the are the uh like encompassment of like the entire species vision of, of a child. Or but maybe we are. I feel like you're underselling. Well, no, here, but here's the thing. That's like, true, I guess. Pretty much 100% of people think that like kittens are cute, but probably like 50% of people would really be like, oh, when they saw like a human baby, you know, like, right. or yeah. like a puppy, like everyone loves puppies. But, and uh, the other yeah. thing I was thinking of is the reason that I thought about that is like the cries of animals. Like you hear a puppy whining or a cat, like a kitten whining. You're like, oh, I want to go and like help it and like pet it. You hear a baby cry and you're like, right. <laughs> I need to get the fuck out of this supermarket as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, but then no, I was wondering, this like, stupid do, kid. But do you reckon that's because our brains are wired to like, like, yes. maybe it's something where like annoyance triggers you to do something about it much more than like, than like empathy. You know, like a baby's annoying you. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. fuck! I need to go and do something about this. Whereas if you hear a kitten crying, you're like, oh, that's nice. But you're like, <laughs> you just probably yeah. leave it. Yeah. Otherwise, you know. Or we, yeah, we just can't like shake feeling compelled to do something, even though like it's. It's fucked yeah. to walk up to a little baby in a supermarket and just take them from their mother's arms and swaddle them back to <laughs> oh, sleep. So, yeah, but your yeah. brain I wants guess I'm going to from do like that. An, or go scream in its face. I guess I'm so going like to evolutionary context just, where we're like, you're in a yeah. forest and you hear a baby crying. You're like, I should probably check that out. <laughs> but like, <Yeah. laughs> supermarket, kind of the same thing. I don't know how accurate this is, like, but I remember hearing somewhere that like, if so it, like with animals specifically, with like dogs or cats or whatever, like w when they whine or like when you see something that's like really cute and like you know your instinct is like oh i want to hug this thing i want to like squeeze it you know like, i want to fuck it like i want to suffocate it I okay lenny <laughs> 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 but like apparently that's like I, again i don't even know if this is true i, I heard this and i was like oh that's that's you know you hear like something in passing like that's fascinating uh it, it might it might be complete bullshit but you're interested in it just say the but damn fact though, please that, I know. Sorry, I'm trying to preface this as much as possible. But like, the the brain thing, the the receptors in your brain that process is cute is like in the same that process is like killing, getting rid of stuff. So when you see something that's really cute and you want to squeeze it, it's because it's in your your fucking primitive chimp brain nature to suffocate it until it's dead. Sweet. Uh, so that way the cuteness is gone. <laughs> Again, I don't know if that's true, but I thought that was... That was there is that fact well, where... Well, the cuteness can be like masquerating ele elephants, as a threat. Elephants look at us the same way we see like a puppy. Like like you see a dog or a puppy and you're like, oh, that's that cute. Fact. And then elephants see us and they're like, oh, that's cute. I'm going to squeeze That's them. adorable. I'm going to squeeze his pussy. <laughs> Until I pull out the blicky, <laughs> then what does the elephant fucking think? Yeah. I got thumbs, I, I bitch. Love, I fucking love those videos of like elephants like fucking killing people like <laughs> that like did them wrong. You know what I mean? Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Sick, Cut dude. out that last part. Oh, Just have him say no, all those no, videos of elephants in. killing people. No, uh, you, you hear me out. Just hear me out. Like, you, know, like, you know, like the you know, like the fucking like zookeepers who like fucking poke and prod these ele poor fucking elephants are like mm. oh you do do this thing eat this peanut fucking do a backflip bitch and like they get all pissed off and they like stomp them to death i love that shit i've never <laughs> seen that i can't say i've ever seen that dumb, dude, i think that, that was a fever dream you had no it's it's a thing i'm telling you no, it's like I've, I've something like, you got I'm to see in mexico i'm sick of this like yeah, maybe pushing me around maybe i'm fucking eight chan <laughs> <laughs> this is an older story but was, there was like some story of an elephant at a zoo that was like constipated and the zookeeper was like had to unconstipate it i guess how do you unconstipate you put your whole fucking arm in and make it shit <laughs> just pull the shit out yeah no literally he was working back there and it just unloaded on the dude <laughs> and it was such an explosive release that he got oh. blown back and covered in like 300 pounds of shit and died he died oh, i didn't see died what a way to go imagine? yeah fortnite i'm you about live to your get whole down. life <laughs> i'm about to get, get brown <laughs> i'm, I'm heading southbound fortnite gamer. can you imagine living your whole fucking life you know, you, you, if you have your first love, your first <laughs> kiss, you know, you live an entire fucking life just to die from a 300 pounds of elephant fucking feces. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that was the last thing That's he heard. That's the last sound he heard. <laughs> Doplex, give us a story from the time that you ran away to Mexico and illegally crossed the border. What happened? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
What what kind of what kind of story do you want? What, what do you want me I to wanna, lay on the table? I want a happy go lucky Mexico story. I want to hear the time about you happy saw. Happy go lucky. I want the uh, the time you saw a, a body in the gutter and you poked it with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't poke it with a stick. Police officers. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Was there a police I'll, I'll, I'll police officers <laughs> poked it with a stick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll tell. Tell some. Was Mexico it a stick stories. that just uh, said like see, La right. Policia on the side or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a, a, a police branded stick. <laughs> but it's still <laughs> a just a stick. <laughs> like it's not like sharpened yeah. or like <laughs> rounded off. Yeah, honestly, yeah, honestly, the stick part I might have like my brain might have made up, but I remember <laughs> them poking at it. It might have been their nightstick. I don't know. But I do remember sp- vividly seeing a body in the gutter. Uh, just, just for some context here, when I was 15, I moved to Mexico. Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to go through the whole emancipation process. And I wanted to move out, and the cheapest way to do that was to move to Mexico, sell all my shit, and move there. Um, and yeah, that I will. The, the thing is, I moved to Mexico at like the height of you know like the cartel shit. It was like the absolute worst. Like I remember there were times like at night where we would hear like crazy amounts of gunfire, and literally all they were like. I think one specific time there was this guy that was in a Carl's Jr. because they had Carl's Jr. there. And there's a guy called, called, called Junior that it's called Carlos's Junior there. <laughs> junior in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, Car- Carlos Junior. Carlos um, is Junior. <laughs> but like, I remember they like shot up that Carlos Junior just to get like this one guy like killing everybody in there. And like, oh th- this was like such a casual occurrence. Like, like this shit happened so frequently. So like, after a while, I almost like became like desensitized to it because I think I lived there for like three years. Oh, James, you wanted a happy-go-lucky story here. I'm talking about <laughs> now, this is great. This is, Dead bodies. This is, this I gotta is, yeah, say, this is popping. getting murked <laughs> in a Carl's Jr. has got to be up there with elephant shit death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's no, high I, on I the list. Yeah, I 100%. Yeah. Do, do, like, do they just, yeah. like, uh, after the Carl's Jr. gets shot up and all the employees are dead in there, do they just, like, re, like <laughs> renovate it and just open up again? Like, whatever. Yeah, happened? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think work I, here. Cause, well, because it, it was now down hiring. the street from my house, <laughs> and they literally just put like wood wooden planks like uh, like along the because like the, the, the way this Carl's Jr. was built. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they just <laughs> the guy starts starts building like, like they were still open for at business. <laughs> <laughs> like boots steers up and out of the top of the Carlos's Jr. <laughs> They're just like building as fast I'm as they can. Trying to get shot. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, they, they literally just put up wood wood planks and just it was business as usual the next day. Like, that, Ignore that's, the bullet holes. That shit was, bro. Man, that's wild. <laughs> that's awful. I feel so happy yeah. and maybe even going lucky right now. I would, ha- I would have to say that. <laughs> so you, you were saying that like every single part yeah. of like America, like South America, is like that. Like every single street is is pretty much that on a daily basis. Though, please. yeah, it's true. Every yeah. single. <laughs> Every, Every single, single one. If you guys have ever seen the video Funky Town, that was actually Dopex in it. He was the victim in that one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That was me. Um, Maybe that was Tomato about, Town. Yeah, that was Tomato. Yeah, and Mexico is Tomato Town specifically. Yeah. Ten kills on the board the right now. I'm a cool Wait a second. Fortnite gamer. Was that song about your experience at Carl's Jr.? Because Carl's Jr. sells, <laughs> they serve tomatoes on their burgers, tomato town. Yeah. 10 right. kills on the board. Yeah. That sounds like about right. <laughs> That's what I'm and saying. You said, yeah. they, you said they flee southbound estimate. afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my friend did get downed because I never saw him again. <laughs> yeah. the, the man oh. who I, I moved there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, of, of oh, I was going to say, I can tell you a story about how I partied with, like, these firefighters while I lived there. Because, again, I, I was, like, 15 when I lived there. And, like, on this hotel, at the very top, there was, like, this secret room. Like, it, it, Mexican architecture, it's the fucking weirdest shit, bro. They, like, they build things without, like, they'll build something as a hotel, but then they'll put some, like, fuck shit up top. Like, this seedy-ass hotel, they'll put, like, some fucking crazy, like... <laughs> baller ass room up top but like there's <laughs> some these, MC like, issue firefighters issue. were like staying there yeah and like uh they invited me and eddie to like go up there and hang out with them for a few days and like we just like drank with like these it was just it was weird because we were 15 like looking back like that's really fucking weird like you know we're just like hanging out with these like <laughs> old fucking firefighters yeah guys. and they're just like casually like like these guys were like doing fucking like cocaine like they, it was like it was insane like we didn't do starting any of that fires shit, it was just like 
Yeah, there was. <laughs> that's where they escaped to like really fulfill their vices. One of them would start a fire and the other would fight us, and you're like, oh, that's where they get it from. Ah. Physically fight it. You just be sitting there punching the fucking. <laughs> punching the embers. Yeah, how did you know they were firefighters if you didn't see them fight any fires? I mean, they, they just said we're on. firefighters and oh. we're, we're on vacation. You trusted them. You went to a CD. At this you went to a yeah. CD hotel to the top room, let him lock the door and, and do cocaine. And you're like, man, <laughs> firefighters. That's, that's fucking, these these I want to be cool a firefighter. Dudes. Shit. It, you know, it was, it was really weird because like one of the firefighters, like he, uh, so he had like this room all the way in the back. Right. And he had like a big screen TV and I forget the name of the movie, but like, I don't know if any of you guys remember, there's like this movie, there's a scene where like this chick is like naked <laughs> and she has like a snake around her. And he was really insistent on like making me watch this with him. And like that was weird to me because he's like, dude, check this out. This chick's fucking hot. What year was it? Like, like 2008, 2009? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, it was probably over the hedge. <laughs> That's it's probably, it. It's probably Beowulf. That's you, guys, it. you guys are watching Over yeah. the Hedge, baby, on the big <laughs> yeah, screen. He's, he's fucking dude, big rock hard watching Over the Hedge. <laughs> big screens in 2008. The, the, the that shit probably scene. cost him hella money too. He was he was like coming couple, over the hedge. Couple G skis. It wasn't Over the Hedge, by the way. I think it was, it over was the hedge. under the hedge, if you know what I'm saying. So, so what was Andrew. the closest time, aside from that time that you uh, almost went to a uh, internet cafe that got shot up, <laughs> what was the closest time you say, like, what was the closest you got to dying <laughs> outside Fourth of of July. Fourth of July? Fourth of July. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In so, Mexico? Uh, or my in- friends and I. Yeah, in Mexico. Um so my friends and I, uh, there is... What's it called there? Fourth so of Julio at- or something? <laughs> so, I mean, it wasn't... It, it was just because, like, the thing is, like, TJ, it's so close to the border, right? So it's like, you know, we still sell... We still, what, like, wanted to go see fireworks. But, like, we went to go pick up alcohol. Keep in mind, they, they don't card in, in Mexico. It's like, you know, whatever. You, like, you oh, you were... Wait, you were still beer. in Mexico? Yeah, yeah. Dude, um, something about the imagery of... <laughs> Going <laughs> to the border to watch another country shoot off fireworks. The celebration <laughs> is so funny. No, 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 no. We, we didn't go to the border for that. We were, just, we were so close that people still celebrated that shit. Okay. Anyway, okay. anyway. All right. So there were these liquor stores, and at night they would close up. They would have like bulletproof glass, you know, like understandably so. But they would have like little, uh, little like windows, you know, like so you can walk up. You know, you wait in line. You walk up. You buy your shit. You point whatever you want. So me and my three friends, we went to one of these liquor stores and we were buying alcohol and there was this guy that was standing next to this, like the, I was like standing next to the wall and he, this guy was so visibly fucked up. Like he was so drunk. Like he was literally, he had like his fucking shirt rolled up like halfway. He was kind of like digging into his back and he was just like kind of hunched over. It was this bald guy, like creepy looking dude. And he kept staring at me and like it kind of freaked me out but you know like i'm 15 i'm like trying to be like a tough guy in front of my friends so i like i ask him like you know like what the fuck are you looking at <laughs> oh my god and the guy gets all pissed no. off and he starts he starts like walking like he, he like walks around us to kind of like you know like basically scoping us out or whatever so we, we get our alcohol and the guy's like so the the way that i'm trying to like position this the best way i can but like pretty much the liquor store was on the corner and we were just like a straight shot back home so we start walking back the guy he's like still there but there are no street lights on it's complete pitch black and this guy he's like looking at us and it's like i'm still trying to be tough whatever you know so i'm like you know like what's the problem this guy pulls out a fucking gun out of his uh his waistband oh, jesus points yeah. it directly at me that was like the scariest fucking thing. But he was, he was like so drunk that I don't think he knew how to fire it. <laughs> Cause he was just kind of like wiggling it around. I think it was more like an uh, intimidation thing. So me and my friends, we just fucking booked it. And that was like, probably like one of the closest, like I legitimately thought it was like, oh, this guy's gonna fucking shoot me. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like if I knew someone was pointing a blicky at my back and I turned around to run, it would be- like my butt would naturally clench and I'd be like running away like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd start just, rolling just like Sonic all the way down the street make it harder from the yeah. shoot me <laughs> right <laughs> but honestly honestly like that that kind of shit was like I don't want to say it was commonplace because like I've had I've sort of had like Mexican cops point guns at my head as a joke 
Like, just as a fucking <laughs> really ah, funny, like, guys. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. They should start so a YouTube channel. Saying, like, really funny. <laughs> Epic gun pranks in Mexico. <laughs> like, this one time, this fucking dude, like, this cop, like, just straight up, like, pointed his fucking big ass, like, M16 at my head and, like, just laughed it off. Like, like it was a prank. It was <laughs> just you. a prank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come from a country so where no one weird. has like assault rifles or anything. I'm always like so tweaked out whenever I go to a country that does and like you're at an airport yeah. or whatever and you see them fucking strapped up. Because the most New Zealand cops have is just a pistol, which they don't carry on them. It's a water they gun. Do, they have a pistol in the car and I think they've got a rifle in the car, yeah. but they never use it because, like, you know, I, I think they only use it if someone yeah. is fucking shooting people, but that doesn't happen very often, thankfully. Um, right. They usually just have a taser on them. So it's weird. Like, even when I came here and the cops here have guns on them, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> You've got a gun, sir? <laughs> but yeah. yeah. It's like, so, it's like cops here will pull out their gun even if they're just, like, suspicious of you, you know? Yeah, sure. Like, if like they here in vote, America, specifically. If they, if they want to vote you off, <laughs> they're voting you off the human race. <laughs> yes, this is me, imposter. <laughs> Right, was another you. another great bit here. Another on great Boys Among Us bit. Too. Yeah. Another yeah. banger. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. You know, I almost feel like we should just make this episode one. I feel like this was this is I don't know, what do you what do you guys think? I reckon we I just think that I reckon we put down random numbers thing. on each episode and just see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is episode just twelve. Completely. You know what we should yeah. do is we should like the first skip one is that, episode yeah. thirteen. Yeah. We're trying to find episodes one through twelve. <laughs> yeah, we should totally do that. They? Like just skip <laughs> yeah. one episode randomly, like it goes from seven to nine and just leave everyone wondering like what the fuck happened in episode eight? And we just <laughs> always we always are just like, Oh nah, maybe we'll release we it don't one talk day. But that. we never we never specify yeah. why. <laughs> this is never recorded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't talk about episode eight. Yeah. That'd Please stop fun. asking. That'd be a meme, actually. That'd be good. I'd like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then for April Fool's one day, we do All release right. it, and it's, it is it is literally just nothing. It's just one of these. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But the descriptions like like paints it to be the most fuck thing ever. Like Andrew's eugenics debate. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> Andrew explains why Chinese immersion is not necessary. <laughs> I am kind of glad I found out what Chinese immersion is because I was yeah. really confused why they had that just in the middle of the description in parentheses. Oh, I, I wanted to but go. There was a topic. There was now a topic back then I wanted to bring up. Topics you brought up. Uh, like not being out of, I, I kind of brought up not being out of like cook food in a certain place. Like I, I said that I went to one Airbnb where they said you couldn't have curry. Or oh, I think they said Indian right. food because they were, <laughs> I guess they, they didn't care about sounding racist. But I think what they meant is what if it What if it just said no Indians? <laughs> 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 what if your brain read food? But it wasn't maybe, there. yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, they'll just mask off. No, I bet they said no Indian food because uh, I guess it, it like the, the curry smell does linger, which is true, but, um, I don't remember you, you said like people at work uh, putting up signs about like yeah. not wanting food. I can't because you you said like oh this this uh, bitch in accounting didn't like it. Do you remember what the food was? Like was uh, it was like, it, it really was, like, was it just an unreasonable request? Like, like fish like, or eggs? Well, I was or, gonna say because like, if it's fish, there there was one dude who used to microwave tuna at my old work with like the lid off, and then the entire floor what? would like. It did uh, not matter which room you were in. That's the worst. Like person, it was yeah. like canned tuna as well. So he just like dumped canned what? tuna right. onto some pasta or something, and then microwaved the whole thing. Literally the entire floor. Yeah. It did not matter which room you were in for the next three hours. It smell like tuna, and I, I feel like someone oh, at some point God. had to go up to him and be like, "Hey, man, just <laughs> you can't do you that. Gotta stop. Please yeah, stop. dude, who yeah. the fuck even eats canned tuna hot? Exactly." It was fine yeah, for two reasons. <laughs> not even like room yeah. temperature. There was a yeah, I don't think I've ever microwaved tuna in my life. Like I, I, that's just not something that. <laughs> that I means do. he had to Any, I, open the can, scoop it out of the can, put it into something right. else that he could microwave it with, and then put it in the yeah, microwave. He, his, everything was trying yeah. to tell him no, but he he found a way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so much work just for him to fuck up the rest of the office. <laughs> yeah, it was like fifteen set steps just to like squad wipe the the whole entire floor's noses. Yeah. <laughs> there was something really humorous about that idea. That whole fucking like, day. People who go out of their way to put a ton of effort into just doing something wrong. 
Like, <laughs> like it would have been better if you did less. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like if he had just been, if he was too lazy and like oh fuck, I'll just have it cold. Just slapped it in like a bowl of pasta. It's like that would have objectively been better, right? Uh, but no, he's got to make sure his his spread is as big as possible. Is he has to make sure his his stink load is is nice and voluminous. <laughs> My friend Jared links me this fucking guy on Instagram all the time. Is like he cooks meals and they are fucking disgusting. And he's really proud of them, but he clearly puts a lot of yeah. effort into it. But then it'll just be to make like like a Doritos casserole or some shit. Like it's it's like the worst food yeah. that clearly takes a lot of work to make. It's it's baffling. Uh, anytime cooking you like YouTube videos, whenever you look at it and the the room that they're in looks like it smells like mildew, you know you're in for like <laughs> a lot of mayonnaise. Just yeah. like an obscene oh, amount geez. of mayonnaise. It's not mildew on the wall, it's mayonnaise. Yeah. It's mayonnaise residue. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of nasty shit, have you guys like, when you guys were kids, like, did you ever like purposefully do really gross things? Like, you know, like- Well, James tells us he farted into a cup and, put it on your and then licked face. it. Well, I know, yeah, I know. James, James <laughs> kind of already told us, but like, for example, like when I was a kid, uh, I remember like just as, as like a total fucking meme, like I had this uh, Gatorade bottle uh, it was like sitting in, in my backyard for like ever and it just had like it was just it was like old Gatorade in there and like I pissed in it and like <laughs> <laughs> fucking just like <laughs> I think I like picked up like some like dog poop and put it in there <laughs> and then like my, my friend came over I just like told him to drink it <laughs> <laughs> like you know when, you, when you're a kid yeah. you don't Did know do any it? better you're just like I'm, I'm gonna Don't make the grossest it. oh yeah no he took a sip and he was pissed at me <laughs> but like that that's like the, like when you're a kid you don't you know you don't think of like the repercussions like oh this would be funny if you drink this when I was 18 or like 17 or 18 this is like not as bad but Okay, so I was, I was also an adult, right. but we had this art room. It was, you were an, yeah, you were an adult. <laughs> it was, um, <laughs> we had an art room that was only for year 13 students, which was awesome because it was like our own little space. But it was this weird old classroom right. that was like clearly left behind when the rest of the school got renovated. So we just got like the dregs, <laughs> but it was awesome. It was so weird and old and like cozy, but there was just all these cupboards everywhere that no one ever used. And I remember I opened one at the start of the year and I found a can of peaches like hidden in the back. So I fucking got the can out and I stared <laughs> it open and I hid it right at the fucking back behind everything and again no one used these cat like covers for anything I don't even know why they were there and I pulled yeah. it out on the last day of school <laughs> and it was black like I don't know what oh, happened. Oh. So I guess just like like in the summer or whatever, it like it evaporated or bubbled out the top, and then yeah. just the entire oh. can. Did it was just probably gave his whole class like cancer smell? or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. Just black mold forming. Yeah. Like, the, the, was there a smell? Like, I feel like that. It was. Sick. I think it was, it was like so, it was beyond that. <laughs> It was peaches are the silent oh. killer. There was another thing I didn't I didn't see this, but like the year before us was like even more hectic, and um, yeah. someone there was like a hole in the wall again, old classroom piece of shit that they just gave to us. I think one of them stuffed like chicken breast or meat or something in the wall. Like they found this hole, <laughs> and on the last day of school, they like what? stuffed so meat fuck. in the wall, <laughs> so it sat there all summer. <laughs> It just rotted. I've got one, but James had one. I want to let James yeah, go James first. Was what, was, what was yours, James? Thanks. Uh, yeah, tell us, James. I feel like, you, I, I feel like well, you'd have some fucking fuck No, shit. it's the same. It's basically the same as yours. When I was like six or seven, I just took oh. out a red cup and like like peed into it and like filled it all okay. the way up Not to the, the fucking brim. And I I had like a little sister. She was <laughs> like, she was probably like three or four at the time. Not how we say the And I like... Okay. Well, I have a little sister, but at the time she was like three or four, and I, I she he had a little sister until this incident. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, well, it could have been. And I, I just tried to get her to drink it, and I told her it was Mountain Dew because it like my fucking seventy year old pit, my seven year old piss just looked like Mountain Dew. And my dad like just got home from work and like saw me just like giving my fucking like three year old like, like little sister just a cup full of like yellow shit. Yeah, I mean, he didn't know that, but then he like grabbed it, and it was like it was like it was like sweating piss. Like it, my piss, it's like piss is fucking hot in like a red uh, cup. Yeah, so he's yeah. like, right. And it was like the first time in my life that he that the kind of like coddling goes away, and and my dad was yeah. like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she, she would have like, died, Whoa. 
and I was yeah, like, I, oh, oh, no, it's yeah. just piss funny. I feel like, like, can you imagine? Like, I feel like you know, like I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like think of your, your in your dad's position, like having your son pee in a cup and try to give it to your daughter. <laughs> like, I don't even know like how daughter. how else. Yeah, like, I don't know how else you would Yeah, there's no that. other response. So like, it's what just the like, what the fuck are you doing? What is wrong with you? And, and, but like, as, an, as an adult, Kids you're like, pissing. as an adult that's like fucked up and you're like, ugh, but then you kind of think it's like, okay, if you're five, you probably don't even really know that that's like bad for you. Well, sorry, how old were you at the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I was six. Oh, for, yeah, so it's like, you, you kind of like don't yeah. really understand like, you probably get that it's gross and that you maybe shouldn't do it, but you maybe yeah. don't quite understand like the level of it. So you probably, probably one of those things you have to like restrain right. yourself and be like, no, okay, you do not do that ever again. You, <laughs> yeah. you pull it, but you can't just like, <laughs> yeah. it's not like you're trying to stab her or something where you obviously know that's wrong. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. I can't remember it's if I did anything to make her like, or piss. <laughs> I can't remember if I've done anything like that level, but me, I think it was, it might have been my sister and my little brother too. We used to make like poison and it was just like a <laughs> bunch of water from the creek we had. And then we put in like ketchup and mustard and like just oh, random no, things. It would poison. turn into this really thick, just foul smelling shit. And then we would have that bucket and we would just put it down and it would be in my dad's shop. And so my dad would like walk in and <laughs> like, what the fuck is this smell? You guys all and be so dancing around. Poison, away. poison, poison, poison. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like what the fuck? What but the I don't fuck? know if my dad had any room to talk because his brother, my uncle, in like high school, where I went to high school for my senior year, um, there's this one room and it has like this spot where you can kind of throw something up over top of it and no one's going to really go up there for anything. Sure, like a um, mezzanine kind of thing. like a space in between the ceiling. Yeah. And my uncle, he hucked a dead cat up there. Oh, jeez. A dead cat? Did he kill it? And just, no, he didn't kill it. He just oh, left okay. it up there. So, like, months later, what it just, the like, fuck? the smell got to a point where everybody was like... <laughs> What? Why does this room <laughs> smell so bad? <laughs> wait, inside? Inside. That is what the wait, fuck? Wait, on, back up. Where, where did he even get the dead cat? Yeah, where did he get the dead cat? Saw. The so. family cat fucking Smokey died and he grabbed it by the tail. <laughs> yeah. well, Smokey don't this anymore. Shot, put it Dude, up a, my, in the so walk up. My dad's Ordered family grew up in like <laughs> rural Mennonite Virginia and they're all farmers. So Mesa like- not. Animal right. death, not really like an uncommon thing for them. So they sure. just kind of did shit like that. I think cancerous <laughs> decomposing body, though, I th- is, I th- is <laughs> like a. Li- I think that's like coded into our system to not. It was not also the eighties. Chill around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. yeah. So rules were different. Like, I, guess, I, guess I think he also stuffed a I guess dead groundhog in somebody's mailbox. In. Because he got dead pranked, dog. and so my uncle was like, "Fuck you!" And he put a dead groundhog in somebody's mailbox. Bruh. <laughs> Your uncle's cool. That's When's he coming on the podcast? Is... Yeah, yeah. We should, we should get him on as, as our first guest. <laughs> Sorry, What's Zinni. Up, Wonka? <laughs> guest, <to. laughs> dude. Yeah, they had. I went to. It was my. It was my other uncle. I went to like get wood from them because they had a big chopped pile of it, and they were just having my family take some of it. So I went over there for the day to like get a bunch of it, and. <laughs> I saw something and he mentioned it. They had this cat that would hang around their house and uh, it was winter and it it didn't survive. But oh, no. it had frozen to the ground. Oh, so my, they, my God. They couldn't move it. So there's just this like boulder in the shape of a fuzzy cat that I like. I was curious that I tapped it. And Cherry that shit was Slurpee. like a rock. It was not moving. It was just frozen right outside oh, their house. Oh, man. If you chunked it up, though, it would, you know. I was going to say, if to... you, like, shot it with a shotgun, <laughs> that'd be kind of, like, fascinating to see what would happen. If it just, like, shattered, like, <laughs> yeah. sub-zero. Crumbles. Like, bloody <laughs> yeah. chunks. Yeah. Before you uh, even get the chance, your uncle just comes out and palms the thing. And just, <laughs> 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 up onto the roof. <laughs> The closest thing I have is my old apartment uh, when I lived in Wellington had, like, this weird carpeted mezzanine area that you couldn't get to. I think you were meant to, like... It was really weird. There was plugs, like power sockets up there too, but you had to 
use a ladder to get up there, uh, which was in like the listing photos for it. But when we moved in, they just didn't have the ladder. <laughs> so I guess they're like, well, you can fucking figure it out. <laughs> but what we did is yeah. every time we drank, I threw every bottle cap up there. And this was over the course of like three or four years. And I moved out, my friends stayed there. Yeah. And I remember looking at it when I left. There must have been at least like two or three hundred bottle caps. Like you couldn't see the carpet. It was <laughs> just crazy. bottle caps. Yeah. And now that fun. friend's moved out. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure whoever's there now is like taking on the the debt of like whenever the landlord eventually, you know, whenever the entire flat leaves at once and the landlord does like an exit right. inspection, they're like, why is there 300 bottle caps on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, epic. Uh, it cool. yeah, have you ever owned any chickens? No. Anybody no. here have experience? I lived in chickens? fucking New Jersey. I didn't own fucking <laughs> yeah, chickens. I had friends who did. Life. Yeah. On farms. So but, we owned yeah. chickens, and my first dog that we had um, was a chicken. She's a Keyshound named, and chicken. so they're like bred to. They were bred to get mice on ships. So she like had this instinct to kill smaller. Wait, things. wait, 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 wait. They were bred to, to like, like you know how dogs like, like herd sheep. They herded mice onto ships. No, they killed no, the no, mice. No, no, no. They the killed ships. mice on ships. Uh. Oh, <laughs> like, I was like, what the, was... Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Why would you, you just want like, a bunch of mice on James's ship? Head. Come on now, bring him in. <laughs> no, but more. <laughs> what she was more legit better than a lot of cats that I've had. That dog was insane with how like mice she could kill. But anyway, uh, one one day she killed like a couple of our chickens, Jeez. and my dad, in a fit of rage, <laughs> grabbed a dead chicken and <laughs> whacked her with it, and she oh, would no. not go Jesus. within twenty feet of a chicken after that. Damn. I thought you were going to say your dad threw it. Why'd she kill the chickens? I thought you were going to say your dad took one of the chickens She was like, small furry thing, I'm going to kill it. And so she did. And my dad, you know, that's like free eggs. That's money that we put into it. My dad was just mad, so he whacked her with the dead chicken. And uh, she didn't do it after that. Have you ever watched a dog kill something? I have, many times. Dogs killing shit is wild. It's pretty wild. My dog was three for three on my sister's hamsters. Damn. Bruh. <laughs> She's a killer. Dog savage. Damn. Anyway, I had a, insane, dude. Shout out to Andrew's dog. I had, for real. <laughs> shout out to her family. Shouts out to their family. <laughs> I had two, uh, I had two mastiffs when I was like, a, from like, when I was like in like fifth grade up until like the end of high school when they like passed away. But like, and they were brother and sister, so, and they were like, for uh, most people like that have big dogs, it's like the bigger the dog, because mastiffs are, like they both weighed like two hundred pounds plus, and like they weren't yeah. fat, like they were fucking stocky. I love mastiffs. Beefy. Yeah, they were the they were the best shit. But they're like they like they were they never even like got aggressive with like squirrels or anything. Like they didn't need leash. Like they just didn't give a fuck about anything. They were just like goofy and nice. And then one time. In my backyard, we had, like, a gated area for where they would, like, know to go, and they would go to the bathroom, like, in that part of the yard so that, like, we could still kind of use our backyard, not, like, step in... Because their shits were, like, the size of a fucking keyboard. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, And so I let them into their gated part of the yard, and then I came back outside, and I don't know what these animals were, because they looked like possums, but, like... Or they, they look like squirrels, but, like, gi gigantic. Like, the size of two or three footballs. Like, if you inflated a football to the size of, like, three footballs, like, that exact shape and everything, too. And I don't know what they were, but my dog started chasing them, and it got, like, under the fence, and then my dogs just broke the fucking fence, like, because they just, like, had a reason to at that point. And it's, like, yeah. pouring rain out, and I'm, like, running to get them and everything's <laughs> turning into mud and slush and they and they they're like it was watching their strategy of how to like push it towards the center and then like splinter fucking like the fence into it and like it was getting like stabbed yeah. by wood and shit and like they finally Jesus. got it and one got it in its mouth right above its neck and just started shaking its head as hard yep. as it fucking could uh, yeah and then 
<laughs> let go on purpose and it slammed into my shed and like put a dent in the shed and just stopped moving. <laughs> and my dogs didn't even want to eat it or anything. Like they just died and they just went back to like they just wanted to kill it. They just like ran away like back to the door yeah. to be it's let like, inside. It's and like then he <laughs> It's like an NPC Dude, and like, I an heard, early, I heard, like an early two thousands. I heard like scurrying behind me and the thing got <laughs> back up and like seemed like it was fine and just jumped up on the fence and ran away. And my and my dogs looked back in pure like horror that they had not finished <laughs> yeah. the job i can't believe we did that it was watching them tag team it though was like nature it was like watching yeah nature in in it's in fucking practice. brutal it's insane. It's awesome they were geniuses <laughs> dogs are sweet I, I will say like yeah like just speaking of like nature and watching things kill other things i know this is like really fucking grim and i just want to say we're not <laughs> psychopaths uh, no, it was, you, I was trying nature, to so. tackle my dogs to like get them to stop, and I was just, it right. was just like it was like mud wrestling, but with like four hundred pounds of meat. It was, yeah. it was fun. You're not gonna stop that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I spilled water all over myself. <laughs> oh, James oh. Whip boy. Uh, but anyway, uh, speaking of watching things kill other things, I have uh, tarantulas now, and they're nice. fucking. Okay, cool. hold on. And I Wait, like just just. You when you first what? got spiders, you said, "Oh, it? I'm an arachnophobe. Yes. I'm gonna buy mm. these cute yeah. little jumping spiders because they're not real like spiders." <laughs> right. Yeah, I thought they were they like got tarantulas. Fear, kudos. That's the most spidery spider yeah, you so, can get. <laughs> so, all right. So here's what happened. So yeah, I got the one spider. I still have him. He's cool. He's great. He's like huge now. Uh, and then I got another spider, uh, and then she died. And then I got another spider. This is like a little baby, and I'm I'm raising her up right now. And they're, fucking awesome anyway my, my girlfriend and i we took a trip down to san diego which is where i'm from and we you know we just like cruise around and then we went to this old pet store we used to go to and they had tarantulas there i'm like let's see what kind of tarantulas i got and i i just i bought one on a whim and they had like i never thought that they would do buy one get one free so i'm like well i don't want to <laughs> free tarantula so now i have two tarantulas and now i got a bunch of fucking bugs in my office that's um, awful Sick. But the, the point of this was I like feeding I like feeding them crickets because it's cool as watching them fucking like go in on it. Oh, you know? it's like, is it live crickets? Nature's pretty the, cool, man. It's it's cool watching this. The shit. thought I mean, of watching a on, spider a go ham on a cricket, cricket is, freaks me out. Are they live crickets though? Or okay, and, crickets? and watching your dog thrash, uh, they're live. <laughs> Well, that's more the like that's more like just meat going at meat. It's like watching football compared right. to watching like the <laughs> UFC. Like a spider this going after going a cricket bug. is like watching two karate fucking bug dudes on bug like killing each other. The fuck that right. the tarantulas. I guess yeah. the point where you do have There's to start feeding much. them like mice and then eventually like small dogs and shit. So it's like that's why I don't want to get a tarantula. <laughs> yeah, see, my friends <laughs> used to own dogs. snakes when I when I was up in Alaska and I used to watch them feed them the live mice and I was always yeah. like, this is cool, but also. Aw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You buy these Dude, cute little mice yeah. just to fucking nuke them. It's like, damn. I know. It's yeah, I had friends in high school that had frozen mice and just kept them in like the freezer with their like food and stuff. I was like, yeah. that's fucking <laughs> disgusting. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? If you, if you, you like next them out, to the like, chicken to nuggies, like you pull out another unmarked uh, bag and it's just thirty dead white mice. <laughs> It's like Chris yeah. Chan with like, a sperm in his fridge. Do you want the mice or the hot pocket, bro? Yeah. Well, you know what's even worse is is having to knock out the mice yourself because like you just uh, have to punch them. Sabrina, my girlfriend, she used to have a snake. Like, uh, like <laughs> now she's got yours, eating. mate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes! Uh, that, was, that was the wrong sound, but <laughs> I should like that better. Get a fucking fart for me. I like I like the uh, <laughs> Jesse from Breaking Bad better. That kind of fit. <laughs> fit more. Does yeah, she have dude. to feed your yeah, snake mice as well? Uh, <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> That's the mice. <laughs> so wait, your girlfriend just it. went into the ring with a mouse and just boxed it out till it was unconscious? <laughs> no, no, I had to do that. I mean, not that specifically. You just like but, take like, a little spoon and just fuck in the back yeah. of the spoon and just. <laughs> yeah, just exactly. Like, and that was like so the worst uh, fucking thing, dressing. dude. Because like you know, like Why growing you just up, give like it to I it live. I said pick. Because, well, okay, so like I, I said pimp mice. Like, so we could their never eye do that. Some shit. Well, no, same. Like I grew up, I had mice, I had rats, I even had two pet squirrels when I was a kid, and I fucking lo I love like rodents. Like so, mm. I felt like. <laughs> super bad but obviously like the snakes got to eat right and like Snake he was still eat. like super young and small and when they're small like you can't give them live uh, uh mice because 
the mice can like chew their way out of their bodies and shit. Bro, and, let like, nature um, run its, its like, course. Fuck them. The state's yeah. gotta work for its shit, bro. <laughs> I guess, but like when they're small, you know, you gotta help them out a little bit. I was gonna say, Dude, don't the give mice, it a live the mouse, mouse is small too. <laughs> it's just dead not, with a hole that's in not it. fair. The mouse is just like <laughs> don't pick fit it. Fuck, idiot. Don't pick fit Sabrina's snake so that he could feed Sabrina his snake. It's the circle of life. <laughs> can't keep getting away with moves us off. <laughs> all right, I think Logical. we should. I think we should end the podcast now. Wait, should I? Hold on, can I do my I'm bit? I'm fucking, fucking done with you, boys. Fuck, oh, man. Wait, what? Five now I gotta wait another week. Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, okay, well, this has been fun. Uh, if you Mexico. like this, yeah. <laughs> be Mexico. sure to tune in to, uh, <laughs> What's the one that you thought it was, Andrew? Love Pickle. Love Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> When I was uh, the pee -pee. Beep 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 beep. I think we should all <laughs> end it at the accent. same time. I think we should continue that tradition. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. All right. Let's let's uh, here. I'll play some music and then we can all uh, do the outro at the same time. All right, you all boys right. ready? Mm. <clears throat> ready. Thank you so much for. Thank you so much for joining me, boys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a great time. Watching I watching it. It doesn't really Today, episode two. Episode uh, two. I'm really happy. Maybe this turned week, out great. Depending Maybe on when we have next, next week. week. You know, it's not a big deal. But uh, you know, but, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with these boys. Thank you for listening. Make sure to smash subscribe.